so hi everyone uh, welcome to the second part of roadmap to competitive programming right so uh, in this part we are going to cover the next portion so if you are let's say up to the level of specialist how do you go beyond that and reach someone to the level of expert which is around 1600 rating right so let's start so first let's see uh, what kind of problems do you need to solve uh, if you want to go beyond specialist right so generally uh, for being an expert you need to solve diff 2c always in a contest right and the easy diff 2d probably right so diff 2c problems and diff 2d problems remember diff 2a and b were uh, to be covered if you want to reach up to specialist right so beyond that you need to cover diff 2c and diff easy diff 2d okay so Let's first analyze what kind of data structure and algorithms are actually asked in these kind of problems, right? So if we look at them, if we try to explore the common problem tags in code forces of C and D problems, right? Or if we try to uh, dive deep into what kind of questions they ask and what kind of techniques are used there, then in particularly recent contests, you will see that what is asked are fundamental algorithms, right? So what are the fundamental algorithms? You should know about something called as binary search, sorting, hashing, recursion backtracking, right? And some basics of greedy approaches, right? Similarly, you need to know some fundamental data structures like maps, sets, priority queues, tags, and queues, right? Okay, so uh, next question is like, does just knowing what is binary search enough, right? Just ju does just knowing how to implement a binary search on a sorted array, right? Or what is binary search and why do we use it enough? So the answer is definitely no. So there are a whole lot of problem categories that are there in binary search, right? For example, binary search on answer, right? It's brother, which is ternary search, then ternary search on answer, okay? and some more complicated binary search stuff which is mixed around with the pre-computation techniques in arrays, right? So maybe you need to do prefix sum and then apply binary search. Similarly, mixed with sorting. So maybe you need to sort the array on some criteria and then apply binary search. Similarly, in sorting also, there could be another a whole lot of varieties, right? For example, sorting in sorting, there is a quick sort algorithm which uses partitioning technique, right? So partitioning technique is a two pointer technique. Okay. So there comes a whole category of problems in two pointers. Similarly, sorting technique, we have merge sort, right? Which uses divide and conquer. We have the inversion problem, right? So going up to the complete depth and breadth of these topics is definitely required, not just knowing the algorithms itself. Okay. Similarly, in fundamental data structure also, just knowing, okay, what is a map, what is a set, or maybe what is a stack and queue, and how, what kind of operations they allow is not enough. You need to have practical knowledge of it, right? For example, parenthesis matching and stuff can be done with stack. Similarly, if you want to, let's say, store that, okay, count of some particular string, so then you need to create a map that goes from string to its counter, right? So ha understanding in depth, both fundamental algos and fundamental DS is extremely important. Okay. Apart from that, we also need, we also sometimes encounter some easy problems on advanced DS and algo, right? So I'm saying advanced in this context, in the current level of yours. So DP, which is dynamic programming, the famous one, and depth first search, breadth first search, similarly sometimes just joint set union and related stuff can also be asked, but then they will be very direct questions, right? So it will simply be a common DP problem, let's say longest common subsequence and just a small modification on it, right? Something like that. So basically, but these are rare, right? These are rare. So if I go about sorting this, then the easiest win here would be to actually master the fundamental algorithms and the fundamental data structures in depth, right? So not just knowing what is binary search, but the applications of it, right? And the way to do that is first of all, going through some famous blogs and stuff, 
and second of all attempting this is the most important point right attempting as many problems on these topics as possible okay so just filter on the tag and try to attempt them in one uh, go from easiest to hard okay another important advice here to these coders is to have consistency by attempting every contest that is there right so don't skip a contest unless absolutely necessary reason is there okay so if there is a contest on code forces just go ahead and attempt it even though you might not be prepared mentally because you need to be able to give the contest in every scenario okay so that is one more thing so attempt every contest and after contest there comes another important point which is up solving so what is up solving so let's say in a contest you are able to solve problem a problem b right but you were not able to solve problem c or in other contest you were able to solve a b c but you were not able to solve d so you must solve the easiest unsolved problem by you right whichever that may be so the easiest problem that you could not solve in the contest take a lot of time and just solve it and get it accepted uh, you may need to read some editorials right that is okay just go ahead and read the editorial but before reading the editorial my advice is just try to attempt it on your own for at least one whole day right so let it linger on in your mind uh, sometimes what happens is when we keep subconsciously thinking about something it may happen that we are able to actually think of the solution right so i would say give one day for seriously thinking on it subconsciously as well if you are not able to grasp it just sorry for absolving just go ahead and read the editorial if it talks about a new technique right then it could be a good idea to actually learn that technique and that could be your first problem that you solve using that technique okay so basically this cycle giving contest absolving right and during absolving if you find a new technique going ahead and knowing about that technique if this is done in cycle continuously like consistency is very important continuously so most people fizzle out at this stage right they think that okay we are now specialists that is a respectable score uh, they try but they do seldomly right they get bored out of it okay so if cp is for you like if you think cp is for you or if you enjoy it then i would say do this consistently for every contest for at least 3 to 4 months and you'll be able to reach the expert stage okay so this is the plan that you can follow for going ahead till the expert stage which is 1600 so next will come the point of going beyond 1600 and i'll talk about that in the next video